Hello and welcome back. This is the beginning of Season 1, Episode 29. In the last episode, we modified Axon to use the built-in Unity nav mesh tool for pathfinding. Um, this allows him to correctly walk around objects. In today's episode, we're just going to be tweaking a few things and then um, improving the player's weapon. When you go into play mode, I noticed that um, the enemy kind of runs into you and then... Um, He's not doing it now, but this when I had the stopping distance set to 3, he would sort of run into you and then clip through the camera like that. He, he's just too close. So go ahead and change the stopping distance, set that to 5, save, and apply that to the Axon prefab. Now the next thing we want to do is work on the weapon. You'll notice that when we're firing, um, you can just kind of keep shooting forever. And um, most most modern first-person shooters have some sort of reloading functionality. So that's what we're going to add in this video. So go ahead and click on the basic gun script to open that up. And right off the bat, I'm just going to create a variable public of type int. And I'm going to name it... Uh, clip size. And we'll just have, um, I'll set the default to 12 bullets per clip. And so you start off with 12 bullets, as you're shooting it drops down to zero, and then you're going to have to reload to reset that amount. Um, and then we'll have a separate variable. So the clip size is how many, how many bullets the clip is capable of holding, and then we'll have a separate variable for the current number of, of bullets that are in the clip. So we'll just call this clip remaining. And that, that's going to default. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, we'll go ahead and create a start function like that. And then clip clip remaining is going to be equal to clip size. So when, when we start the game, um, whatever the, the amount of bullets that can be held in the clip, uh, that's that's the amount that's going to be remaining in the clip when the game starts. Now, how do we take advantage of this to to actually limit the amount of bullets the player can shoot? Um, right off the bat, we want to... Um, let's look at this update function. So, when the player clicks, if if enough time has passed since the last bullet fired, we're going to fire a new bullet. And so at that point, we can just say clip remaining minus 1. Um, but that's going to keep happening no matter what, because we're not, we're not checking if we have reached 0 yet. So let's go ahead and do that. If clip remaining is less than 1, um, th anything in here is when we're out of bullets, and then... If we're not out of bullets, let's continue to do everything we were doing before. We are out of bullets. And we are not out of bullets. So what do we want to do here? Um, I want to play like a clicking sound. Clicking sound. And what we want the clicking sound to play about as fast as the bullets were firing before, so we can just make that happen here. Go ahead and reset the timer. And we're not creating a bullet, so we don't need this. Um, we don't need this. We do want to play a sound, so we can just we can just copy this line. Now let's go ahead and save that and then find a clicking sound. So I'm going to go back to the asset store and just search soldier sounds. And we, we imported this package before, soldier sounds pack. Um, the only thing I took out of that was the fire clip. So I want to make sure I also take... Um, let's do the jump clip, the fall clip, kick, and reload. And I think kick is is the, like the clicking sound that we want. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and just drag these into our imported soldier sounds pack. And then delete this extra copy. Yeah, and so th this kick sound is is what's going to play when the when the player is out of ammo. So go up to sci-fi rifle, and we want to create another audio field. So next to this one, I'm just going to copy that, paste it onto a new line, and we'll call this kick sound. Now drag kick onto that. And um, when we're out of bullets, the sound we want to play is kick sound. Go back into play mode. All right, so we fired 12 times, and now we're just making like a rapid kicking noise. So that's working out pretty well. Um, now we want to enable the player to reload the weapon. Um, I also want to signal to the player that they don't have any bullets on the gun itself. So I'm just going to change the color of the weapon to red. So to do that, we need a reference to the gun's... Oh, actually... Well, I, I wanted to change the color of the weapon to red. Just to give it sort of like an arcade type feel. But it's got all these different pieces. And I, I could just modify the skin to mesh renderer, but it, it seems like a little bit of extra work. Um, if everything had been on, on one object, I would have done it, but I'm actually going to cancel that idea now. Um, so the next thing we want to do is update the amount of bullets left in the clip to the screen so that the player can see how many bullets they have. Um, I think I'll do that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying this series.